Hello and welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna be hopefully super helpful to some of you guys who have got newborn babies or maybe you're expecting a baby. Uh, if you are, congratulations. I've got a little one who is currently 16 weeks old. What point do we stop doing it in weeks and do we start doing it in months? I don't know. Are we gonna be like, oh, how's your baby? Oh, yeah, he's 243 weeks old. It was a bit feels a bit wrong but anyway he's 16 weeks old so technically after three months he's out of the newborn phase the newborn stage but I wanted to do a quick video today that basically talks through some sensory ideas and some ways to really engage with your baby up to the three month mark I'm thinking about doing another one for like three to six month old so if you want that then let me know in the comments and I can crack on with that but hopefully in today's video you're going to see some ideas that you might not have thought of There's a lot of these things friends have told me about family have told me about or I've just kind of made up myself but if you are new around here please go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I've got lots of ideas for this channel and I'm thinking of creating like product reviews and things like that on baby products that we've bought lots more baby related content so if that's your kind of thing then please do hit that subscribe button okay we're gonna start off with some stuff that's amazing for tummy time the dreaded tummy time I feel like babies either love it or hate it. I feel like most hate it, but they do get used to it and Coda is getting much better. His head muscles are so much stronger now, but when he was a newborn, we tried to do maybe 15 minutes per day of tummy time. And something I learned a bit later on actually was that it has to be on a flat surface, not a flat surface, like a hard surface. So we were doing it on like a sofa or on a bed and apparently that's not as effective. I think doing both is great and like having them on your chest and stuff is great anyway for their neck muscles, but Officially, it has to be on like a harder surface, so like a play mat on the floor or something. Obviously, I'm giving advice here based on my own experience. It's really not scientific, medical. I'm not a professional in any way. I'm just a mum, a new mum who's got her own idea. So tummy time, there's different books you can get like this. This was actually, um, this actually came for free from the library near where we live. When we registered him for a library card, he got a little free tummy time book, which is really cute. But you can get these on Amazon. I am gonna put a link below to my Amazon shop front my little store and um, where you can buy things through like an affiliate link so anything i mentioned today that is available on amazon i'm going to pop down there so this is like a book basically that opens out like this with loads of different pictures on in black and white with a few basic colors and then on the other side you've got some baby faces and a mirror so this is great for babies development because they just love black and white Babies only see in black and white up to a certain point. So um, black and white is gonna be your friend for the first few months and really bold contrasting colors. So we just set this up. Actually, you can see on the back here how it's recommended to be used. You can see the little baby there uh, on their front with it sort of opened up around them so they can sort of start using their head and neck muscles to look around at the book pages. Um, there's another one like this, which is definitely from Amazon. Um, same sort of thing but with this one we actually decided to uh, prop it up on his changing mat so if you imagine the changing mat is along here against a wall we've popped this here so when he's having his nappy change he can kind of look around and see the bright colors as well it gives him something to do whilst we change his nappy um, and it means that he's always sort of learning which we really like this is a little hack a little tip you obviously need a lot of muzzies a lot of swaddles you need tons of cloth basically because babies love to throw up to I don't think they love it, but they do it a lot. And there's a lot of dribble involved with babies. So you're gonna need a lot of cloths. If you can get cloths that are black and white, that is also a bonus because imagine if they're doing tummy time and they can look down at a color, at a black and white pattern instead of like a more neutral pattern. It just means that even in times where they might not necessarily be like doing sensory or learning, they are still picking things up. Um, and yeah, this one here is from Swaddle UK. They actually gifted us a few swaddles, which is really lovely. And yeah, you can see the little black and white cheetah on there. So that's just a little random tip. Another thing is books. So of course we do read to our baby, even though he probably isn't quite understanding like a story yet, but it's just a whole engaging part. It's just a whole kind of speaking to him, him watching us read and say different sounds and our mouth moving and the colors in the book and like the touchy feely. He might not be kind of understanding that he's reading yet, but he's always, he's always gonna be picking up on things during that. And this is a book that's kind of like a sensory book. There's no actual words in it, but again, there's different patterns. And in here, it's one of these ones. So it can get him used to different textures and there's little flaps in different colors. There's a mirror in it. 
and this is just really nice and um, it's got a little hook on it so sometimes we take this out with us and pop it on the bag and it says on it zero months plus so it's definitely a book that you can kind of start using straight away and it's just really really nice I think to, um, to have something that he can kind of understand because it's just shapes but in like a book format if that makes sense and speaking of books like this is another one just here of marine animals and this one I think is actually perfect for them when they're a tiny tiny bit older maybe like three months because uh, with the red the red sort of comes in at that point and um, this is really nice anyway there's still a lot of black and white in it and there's also a little teething ring on it maybe this is a good one to have from newborn sort of right up to when they're teething it's also got different um, little things like squeaky toys and little textures and things all over the book. So I definitely recommend picking up a few of these. We even sometimes pop this um, in the car with us and then I can kind of be showing him the pages just on a car journey. Little flashcards are great as well. And um, this is again an Amazon purchase. And these specific ones are for three to six months, but you can get the ones that have just got black and white without the red. But I mean, I don't think it's gonna harm them having one extra color thrown in there because you've still got the, um, the real sort of bold black and white. A ton of different cards here with different animals on, different shapes, different fruits, all that kind of stuff. I think I keep just showing you that same one. <laughs> Sorry, I'll do it this way. There you go, you can kind of see what I'm getting at there. So one side's black focus and one side's white focus. So these are really nice. And a tip with these, I was I learned this the other day that if you're sort of sat with them, try and get down to their level and have their head here and kind of show them the cards together and really look at the cards with them. We got these on Amazon, they're little sensory, I mean, I suppose they could hold them when they're a little bit older, but a little rainbow with some bells on. It's a two pack and they're just really nice to, um, we kind of put it right up to his face and it, it kind of makes him laugh now if we go whoosh, like over his face like this. The bells are great because of the um, the sound effect. Watch it and we, we go from sort of one side to the other and he really focuses on it, which is really lovely. But yeah, these are nice and easy. We can just pop them in the bag again and they're just a nice little toy to have out and about. As is this, the little soft rattle. I mean, he again, he's just about starting to hold things, but I don't think he realizes he's holding it yet. So when they're newborn, you can just hold it for them and just shake it in their faces. And the fact that it's nice and soft, if you wanted to go right up to their faces, it's not gonna hurt them like a sort of hard rattle would. And of course, got a bit of black and white on it, which is perfect and a bell inside so they can listen to the sound of it as well as looking at all the patterns and again this is really small and easy to transport around with you so you can pop that in your bag and take it on a day out now the next thing i want to talk about is baby gyms there's two different baby gyms we've got that are both very very different and i think good for different things so this first one here is a very soft gym i think this is mamas and papas I believe, I will link it below anyway, um, and it's just a big soft padded bottom part here, um, and then it's got, you know, this is like a classic gym I think, with the crossover, it's nice and soft, it's got a little pull down cloud here which does a song, um, and a few other bits. The only thing I don't like about this is the colour, um, it's all very one colour, it's all very light, and it looks nice, it's very aesthetic, but I now regret pulling that, okay it stopped, but it's not it's not contrasting colours, so it's probably not the best thing for them to be able to see and appreciate the different shapes and things. There are baby gyms that you can get that I would recommend more that are black and white focused and they've got different bold contrasting colours, um, but this one is great and it's actually quite nice to like, um, after say for example we change his nappy, if we're changing his outfit, I'll pop him down on that. It's nice and soft, he can look at the things above it whilst I change his nappy. This one here is probably slightly better in terms of um, eyesight and things like that. So this is from The Little Green Sheep. Uh, they very kindly sent us this as well to try out. And it's got slightly more more bold colours. We've got theme here, it's kind of a bit nautical. We've got a little whale, a little fossil, um, and it's just lovely, it's nice and wooden. But the only thing is this one doesn't come with a mat underneath. So we put this on top of our play mat um, and it pops on top of the baby and they can kind of have a look at this and see the colours again. There's a little rattle inside some bits. But I think this is probably, he, he's more engaged when he looks at this, you can definitely tell. He's really looking at it um, and really sort of appreciating all the different colors. And when I say color, I don't really mean color because it's like black and white, but you know what I mean, the contrast. I don't know how many times I say contrast in this video. Um, so sorry about that. What else, there's a couple more things. Oh yeah, one, another thing, I know sort of screen time is like, some people are totally against it, some people love it and swear by it. I don't really have an opinion either way, I think everything's great in moderation. But there's a YouTube video, I'll quickly pop it on the screen here. This is a video that Coda loves. If we cannot settle him and he's just screaming and screaming, 
or he's upset about something or if we're say getting ready for the day and we've popped Koda on the bed um, and we're just chatting to him or whatever, to give him something more, something to do while we're doing that, um, we often just play it on, the, on my phone screen or prop the laptop up and he is just fixated on it. It's amazing seeing, obviously it's a black screen and seeing say a dancing banana going from one side to the other, you can see him following it, his eyes track it and it's really, really cool. So that's something I definitely recommend trying out. Something that's great for car journeys, which we've got currently on our car seat, let me just quickly pop this up. It's one of these little spiral things here. So it basically just goes around the top of the car seat handle and they've got little rattles in, a little squeaky toy, um, but this is great for on the car journey. So he's not just staring at the back of <laughs> uh, the back of a car seat, um, he's got something to look at. And of course use this as a buggy as well because we've got the adapters that go on the bottom. So it's just a nice out and about toy for him. And the last thing is actually behind the camera right now because I'm in the bedroom filming this. Let me just show you quickly. It's this, this is a little, it's actually quite a, um, a recent Amazon purchase and just here. So it looks, it doesn't look like much here, but it's basically like a projector that it looks amazing. And um, I'll try and find a video I've taken because I, ca I can't really show you in the daylight now, but I'll pop a video on the screen now of it at night time. And there's a laser mode on it, which I turn off because I don't know how safe that is for babies, but um, it might be fine, but I don't know. I don't know enough about it to say. Um, but it's basically you pick different colors, um, different speeds and different, um, brightnesses and it just makes all these shapes and patterns on your ceiling and Koda just watches it like wow this is the best thing in the world um so yeah that's really nice and that's a new purchase so I kind of wish we had it a bit sooner and that's what happens with babies you kind of get into your groove and you get into loving a certain way of doing things um but often it takes you a few weeks to get there with different things so hopefully this video has given some of you a few ideas and maybe you'll try some out with your own babies. Let me know in the comments if you do and how you get on. As I said, I'm not an expert. I'm just sharing some little tips and things that I've found be really helpful and really, really good to know. So if you enjoyed it today, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you very soon in another video. Goodbye.